How you going ladies and gents? Just a little bit of a vid. Um, a gentleman in town contacted me yesterday about this little lot of bees that was in a rose bush in his front yard. I took a um, the brood box from a, a flow hives uh, around just without the super on the top just the bottom box and was going to put them into that but I think it was well too big I went back after dark and they were all gone uh, I saw him down at the supermarket this morning and he was saying that uh, he'd keep an eye out well, lo and behold about half an hour later he arrives and uh, he'd spotted them again so I went and got them um, with the box being too big I had a feeling on that yesterday because it was only a large grapefruit sized ball that was sitting in his rose bush so I did have a feeling that that box was going to be way too big so as well as making a divider to fit into a 10 frame box I also put together this little nuke box it's a four frame so um, they should have liked that. I was just about to paint it when he arrived. It's lucky it wasn't five more minutes. It would have been covered in paint and I wouldn't have been able to use it. So it was absolutely perfect timing. I was shaking the can of paint when he arrived. So that was good timing. But by the looks of it, um, they are liking it. These are a good little feeder. They've got all of the bumps in between so that the bees can't drown. I've got a little bit of pollen there. I used some bee lure inside. Plus there's uh, two frames of wild honeycomb out of a couple of removals that a uh, local bee group has done recently. Um, so there's two frames of that it's just bare, uh, bare comb, nothing in it. So I'll put a little bit of pollen there as well. I've got a packet of pollen. And they're liking this sugar water at the moment. So that's good. Gone through a bit of it already actually. But it's good because um, Apparently they have just been sitting in the rose bush for about three days before I went there so this would be the fourth day at least of just hanging in a tree. I haven't seen the queen come out yet so hopefully she's in there doing her thing now. Um, and these bees are very calm, just to show you how calm. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I can switch this around while it's filming or not. I don't think I can. Oh well. Um, I'll grab a photo of me right next to it anyway these are really good bees in this town like this town is it's above the dry line in south australia uh the goiter line so we don't get much rain um and it's a fair distance from the other towns and water sources and so forth uh, we're on top of the great dividing uh, not the great divide it's not bloody cans here um on top of the Flinders Ranges. Um, so it's a fair way from here to anywhere and from anywhere to here. So the bees we've got in town are pretty good stock and they've gone through 50 plus days, 50 plus Celsius days and down to snowing in winter. So we've got a pretty good range of temperature in this town. So, um, as yet I haven't seen any diseases or pests apart from wax moth in any of the hives around town. And these are wild hives. Um, there's only a few of us that are now getting into, getting
getting hives again. It's been for a while since I've had some last and some other people are getting into it. And we're doing removals for people around town and then we'll use the bees. And we split the honey up so that everybody sort of around town gets a bit occasionally and yeah, it's a good way to do it I think. And um, as well as that I get to make me brews. Uh, I'm making meads and ciders and sizes and melomels and stuff like that now. Um, I'm looking at doing a sake in the next few days. So um, the honey comes in good for different things that I'm making up. And these guys look like they're quite happy. So I'm going to leave them alone. And that will be that. Alrighty ladies and gents, see you later.